Hello everybody, it's Basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg, at Sorgatron on the Twitter. You can check out this in, uh, this show in particular at Sorgatron.com and check out everything I do starting at MikeSorg.com. There's a lot going on. There's a hobo on my channel at SorgatronMedia.com, for instance. Um, and if you're discovering us through SorgatronMedia.com, hope you're liking it. I, I think I'm going to start doing the dailies. We do a lot of these things every day, well, four days a week, I guess most of the days. The majority of the days of the week. Um, but anyways, today I, I you know, had a lot of fun with my state of smartwatches yesterday. So I, I saw an article this morning on The Verge. Maybe want to kind of look at the state of piracy. And this is um, um, something that I'm becoming more and more. I mean, I've always looked at. I, I've always been fascinated with the idea of piracy and, and uh, uh, the copyright issues and, and everything um, being both a a uh the accused and the accuser in the uh digital, digital millennium <laughs> copyright act of uh 19 2000 whatever uh that i learned about all the way back in uh in in, in art school um but uh but looking at the state where we're at and seeing what's happening with you know being a cord cutter and some people who are cord cutters just get stuff the way they get stuff and i try to sur i try not to do that as much as possible. There's a lot of shows. I mean, there's a lot of wrestling shows that um, I don't participate in because knowing that that's the only way that I could, uh, I, I would need to participate in them. I don't bit torrent shows. I don't do anything like that. Uh, I, in fact, I readily confess that the only thing that I quote steal is uh, I get a live stream of Monday Night Raw every week. Uh, but I also pay for Hulu so I can watch it the next day if I want. So, I mean, I feel semi-justified. And otherwise, I do kind of dig actually, I think I, if I get cable back I would still watch the feeds that I do because I terribly enjoy the British commercials that I get off of Sky. Um, but other than that, other than that, um, but uh, there's a really good article I found this morning over coffee. Um, yes, I'm one of those people, uh, the reading my daily newspaper on an iPad, which is Feedly, um, over coffee and eggs. This is a pretty fantastic way to start the morning. I gotta be honest. Uh, thank you, John Cena diet. Um, but, uh, the, what I'm concerned with today is, uh, of course, you know, big news this week, uh, with, uh, HBO now, which means, you know, maybe I won't be borrowing dad's uh, uh, user account for HBO. I guess that's the other sketchy thing I do uh, to watch my Game of Thrones. But I'm going to have to pick up a $69 Apple TV. Okay, sure, sure, that's that's fine. But, but you know, I, I can do it, you know, and, and I can see myself um, if something happens that I can't share my um, um, a deal with my with my dad, which, you know, actually we make a deal. I pay for his phone. He gives me HBO. It works out fine, right? Um <laughs> And he has an iPhone, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 it works out. And actually, actually the cost is pretty much a good trade up from what I was looking at. Um, and I think I'm the exclusive watcher of HBO too. So that really works out. But other than my sketchy, uh, cord, cord, and that's it. I, seriously, everything else I pay for walking dead. I pay for Dr. Who on Amazon. I have Hulu. I have everything else. And I don't really watch much else from there. Um, which is a bitch when I'm trying to catch up with some of the new wrestling programs. But anyways, that aren't WWE. Um, HBO, uh, you know, of course, it's going to be on the Apple TV. It's going to be fifteen dollars a month, which I think is very comparable to what's on cable. Unless you have a deal, you know, you're obviously not going to be able to bundle that um, like you do and call somebody up and say, "Hey, I'd really, I think I'm getting rid of HBO." Like, oh, we'll give you six months, you know, or whatever that that game is. And you know, the nice thing about cord cutting is I don't have to play that game every few months uh, as well because it was a pain in the butt and they always screw me over and I end up with Showtime and get locked in for a year. Uh, thank you, Verizon Fios. Great service. Horrible customer. Horrible sales. Great customer service. Horrible sales. Great service. Horrible sales. Um, I got locked in a couple times with them. But that's not what this is about. I'm four months in. I haven't even got to the point. But uh, in this article, HBO is fighting Game of Thrones piracy in the best possible ways. In an opinion article over at Polygon.com. I didn't even realize. I thought that was The Verge. It is a, this doesn't seem like a gaming thing. But anyways, um, I guess they kind of spread out their wings a little bit. Uh, but, uh, you know, looking at the announcement that um, Game of Thrones will premiere in over 170 countries and territories across the globe simultaneously uh, with HBO's U.S. airing on Sunday, April 12th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So this is not a new thing. 
this is uh, actually, we've seen this with Doctor Who, especially the Day of the Doctor event, um, the anniversary event, where, um, you know, I watched, you know, with Chachi, uh, you know, uh, on, on, I think it was Christmas Day. Oh, no, the one was over, actually, the Thanksgiving holiday um, at, like, 3 in the afternoon, because it's, it, you know, airing, you know, in the evening, whatever the time is in, in England. Um <clears throat> But uh, especially this has been kind of a badge of honor for HBO um, that Game of Game of Thrones has been a uh, uh, the most widely uh, pirated show in ages, and uh, which really you know it's not like they're they're losing money on this you know it's not like they're they're not making money on this thing, um, and I think it kind of shows like what that can do now. Now for me, I, I have actually. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of content that I've created and I'm selling, you know, over at, you know, PittsburghWrestling.com and, and uh, to the point where we found somebody that put one of our DVDs completely on YouTube and I've gone through the process and of doing a takedown notice. And now I know both sides of that. Um, and to the other point, you know, I also see somebody, you know, say, hey, that event from last year is on this message board and it has like 600 downloads. Um, it sucks. Um, but I honestly don't expect that that's lost revenue for me. And I think HBO see in the same, stay in the same. They have enough people that get on there and get to the service and is a pain in the butt sometimes to find things, especially something serialized like a Game of Thrones. Uh, maybe a little different for a wrestling show or a documentary like that we've that we put out here at Sorgatron Media. Um, but uh, it's interesting, uh, you know, to you know, and I understand some people, you know, as creators saying, well, that's a sale I didn't have. That's 600 sales I didn't have, which, man, that would make a big difference, right? Um, but I look at it as uh, those people weren't doing it anyways. You know, those people weren't going to come to my site and do it anyways. Or maybe wouldn't even found the wrestling. Maybe wouldn't have found the IWC wrestling. Wouldn't have found, you know, that documentary, you know. Um, now, putting the entire documentary out there, like, that's, yeah, no, we got to do something about that. Especially if it's through YouTube, we can do something about that versus random uh, message board that you don't, even, you don't even know if the operator's awake, you know, to and has any kind of policy about those things. Um, then there's nothing you can do, really, at that point without having a lot of lawyering involved, which we don't have around here. Um, maybe eventually, but not yet. Definitely not yet. Um, so where are we at with this? Thing? You know, it's been a few years. I don't know the numbers, but I feel like piracy should be down. I feel like less, uh, uh, of my friends are discussing how, uh, that they're getting things through other means. Um, it, 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 it seems that, uh, you know, the cord cutting and the services are the norm necessarily and not you know, you know, not the, you know, the outside the norm thing, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and I think it's the opening up of things like how HBO has, uh, you know, admittedly kind of, kind of looked past the piracy issue. Um, or they've done a move like this and, uh, your video is getting very, very violent. Sorry about that. <laughs> Game of Thrones guys and dragons dragons guys um but anyways um you know smart moves like this you know uh and 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 kind of a confidence in your own product that uh enough people will see it and especially i mean it's not like this is a small production like i have you know and and but I do hope that those that do experience will have discovered it. We'll maybe go over to SorgatronMedia.com, PittsburghWrestling.com, or JoeDabrowski.com to because that the, we share a lot of our production. So you know, he he actually produces a lot of the documentary work that I do. Um, but uh, you know, it, hopefully that becomes an advertising uh, mechanism. You know. First one's free, hopefully, you know, um, and and the, the right amount of people, you know, I think that you see this with music, you know, you'll, you'll find the music for free, you go find the band, you go to the show, buy the t-shirt, right? Um, I'm hoping they come buy my t-shirts. I do have t-shirts available at prowrestlingtees.com slash WMS and on Spreadshirt. Uh, <laughs> but for instance, um, you know, that that's, that's, 
that's my kind of take on it. Um, you have to keep an ear out. You have to make sure you're not getting abused, you know, in the case where I feel like we were in the uh, YouTube side. But I'm not st sitting there and expecting those those uh, 500 views to turn around to be a, a $16 sale for or $20 if you're looking at the DVD or whatever the price or case may be. Um, you know, it, it's not a one to one comparison. Um, and it, it's it's kind of the way the new market works. So. Bravo to HBO, bravo to BBC America, you know, doing this and actually making it, you know, useful to the customer uh, and making it easier for the customer. You know, HBO now will be another way that people can do it. And, uh, you know, I can see myself subscribing to it in the in the uh, more near future when it opens up to other devices, you know, more, you know, straight up and not have to defend on my dad's direct TV subscription, you know. I feel a little sketchy doing it anyways. I'd, I'd, I'd rather have it just be part of the thing. And just and the cool thing is, it's going to be a lot easier than with cable to say, I'm just going to have HBO for three months and watch Game of Thrones, uh, Silicon Valley, and whatever else came out over the last year and just binge the hell out of the TV you want to see. I think it makes tons of sense, you know. Um, I'm looking at the same thing. I'm, I'm looking at how I have, I'm actually thinking about cutting out Marvel Unlimited. Because I'm realizing, like, I have all these comics that I paid for in Humble Bundle that I never read because I feel obligated to read my Marvel comics. I think I'm going to skip that $10 a month for a couple months and blast through my Doctor Who and Transformers and independent comics like Saga that have been sitting on my uh, Google Books account for for months and uh, and do that. It's nice. You can piecemeal that. You're not just sitting there paying to pay. Um, but anyways, I digress. What do you think about these piracy moves? Cord cutters unite. How are you making sure that you do things in the right, you cord cutters out there? I know you're listening. Some of you apparently watch this on Chromecast. I still can't get my head around that. I got a better mic or I got, got, got a better webcam now. I hope I hope that's noticeable. Let us know what you think over at Sorgatron.com. Follow Basic Sorgonomics with Michael Sorg on YouTube. There's links over there for iTunes as well. Just look up Sorgatron Media. You'll find all the things that I have in audio form on iTunes. A um, couple of them on Stitcher. I can't remember if I put this on Stitcher yet. Spreaker. Look for Mike Sorg on Spreaker. Uh, we've put those on there as well if you're a Spreaker listener. Until next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.